And well, Antelope Island is welcoming 200 bison calves, which brings the population up to about 700. ABC 4's Northern Utah correspondent Kate Garner gives us a look at the herd and its long history on the island. Antelope Island is known for its views of the Great Salt Lake, its birds, and its bison. They are indigenous to the area. Stephen Bates is a wildlife biologist. He says this is about as far west as bison are naturally found. Chief Wanship, in his uh, communications with the early pioneers, mentioned that the bison would come onto the island periodically when the lake levels were low like they are now. Bates says the bison population, at that time, had nearly been wiped out. And in the 1890s, a few dozen were reintroduced to the island. This essentially turned into a, like a conservation herd. By 1911, the herd had grown to about 100, which was one of the largest herds in the country. And now, there are 700. It is fun to watch the awe of those individuals who, you know, they're maybe their first time seeing a bison. And with two-week-old calves, more visitors are likely in the coming days. Taking selfies is just part of life these days. And who wouldn't want to take a selfie with a bison in the background? But officials say it's important to pay attention to the signs and avoid approaching the animals. Go by the rule of thumb. You know, if you stick your thumb out there and you can still see bison, you're too close, you know, for on an individual bison. The island is too small to sustain 700 bison. And later in the year, 200 will be auctioned off. From Antelope Island, Kate Garner, ABC4 News.